We've arrived at the Thousand Trail South Jetty Campground near Florence, Oregon on the Oregon coast. Let's go check it out. Just down the road from the Thousand Trail South Jetty Campground, you'll find a portion of the Sayuslaw National Forest with several beach access points. A few miles south of the Thousand Trail South Jetty Campground, you'll find the Oregon Dunes National Recreation Area. To my left is the South Jetty Staging Area. They ride ATVs there on the dunes. And just off in the horizon there, if you look real close, you can see this Pacific Ocean off in the horizon. Lots to do right around the Thousand Trail South Jetty Campground. After you check in and you pass through the gate, you're going to have a decision to make. You can turn immediate right, immediate left, or go straight ahead. I'd recommend going straight ahead. I'm going to show you some nice campsites with new gravel and 50 amp hookups that you might want to check out before you look at other areas of the park. And I'll show you the best campsites in uh, the several different loops here. As soon as you pass through the gate, you're going to see this building. The membership specialist is off to the left and off to the right is the laundry room. Melody usually does a video for you. If she's done a video, I will cut to that clip right now for you. I'm in the laundry room this morning at South Jetty RV and Camping Resort in Florence, Oregon. They have eight washers and it takes quarters or you can download this app. Depending on the cycle you choose, you're looking at $1.50 to $1.75. Over here we have eight dryers and it is $1.50 to dry. They have a folding table over here and a place to hang your clothes and an iron and iron board if you need to press something off. They have a nice sitting area here with a TV. Again, after you pass through the gate, you're going to stay straight ahead and you'll see the activity center. Uh, that's a pretty nice activity center in there. Let me uh, take you in there and show you around. There's parking down around the corner there. Melody and I have uh, taken showers in here. They have very nice showers. The pool's right on the other side of the activity center. They have an upper and lower lodge. The upper lodge is closed right now. Oh good, there's nobody in here, so I can show you around. A very nice seating area in here. And they have a television set up. You can sit here and watch TV if you choose to do so. Thousand Trails also has free Wi-Fi in this activity center. There's the lodge that we were just in. There's a nice deck that goes around the back side of the lodge. The pool's closed right now. Uh, we're in the middle of October of 2021 when I'm doing this video. Uh, but they also have a hot tub and the hot tub is operational. There have been people in here all week just down from the activity center and across from the pool, they have an area for you to disconnect your toad. There's a gentleman uh, undoing their toad right now. As promised, I'm going to take you down the main portion of the campground. We're going to go past my site and I'm going to show you where I wish I would have camped if I knew those sites were back there. So that's the direction I just walk from. Melody and I are in set up. We are set up in site 119. That's a quick look at our site. Um, when we when we left Whaler's Rest, Thousand Tra Trails Whaler's Rest, that kitchen slide that you see that's extended out, that was stuck in when I left Whaler's Rest, and uh, we ended up having to go through an ordeal to get that. Uh, a freight cable repaired so that we could use our our kitchen slide we were actually unable to get in our refrigerator when we first arrived at the Thousand Trail South Jetty Campground where we are now and uh, 
So we did a separate video uh, entitled uh, RV Life, uh, RV Slide Broken. And so you can go to our YouTube channel, check out that video if you haven't seen it. Let's see Melody and Milo have come out. The sun is out today, so we're happy to see the sun. I'm gonna take you down right now. I'm gonna show you those, um, there, there's two or three very nice newly graveled new electric boxes 50 amp sites completely flat wish i knew they were there before we uh, selected this site i'm going to take you down there right now and we'll come back and we'll chat with melody and milo and here's one of the sites that i like site 149 look how deep this site is my fifth wheel would go all the way back in here and have enough room to park the truck with room left over you know, brand new water hookup, brand new box, and brand new 50 and 30 amp hookups. And here is a vantage point from the rear of the site. So yeah, new gravel, new box, new water spigot, uh, nice and wide. I wish I knew this was here before I had my rig set up. And off to the left, there are two additional sites that are occupied that are just as appealing. Uh, here's another one that's vacant. Um, it would accommodate my rig. In fact, it's probably better than what I have now. This is site 155. Um, those sites uh, were open when I came in, so I could have had either of those sites. And I suspect a lot of people do what I did. You know, you see the first site that'll accommodate your rig and you snatch it up and you don't venture further in until you get set up. Uh, nice new spigot. Again, brand spanking new 50, 30 amp electric service. Isn't this wonderful The Thousand Trails is dumping some money into their parks? Uh, we've seen this all across the nation. That Thousand Trails membership just keeps paying dividends. So for orientation purposes, we're back at the front of the campground. That's the welcome station. Uh, on your way out, there's two dump stations. Most of the sites here do not have SOAR, so most folks will be using those dump stations on the way out. And like I said, after you pass through the welcome station and gate, you can make an immediate right and go to the C section, or you can make an immediate left and go to the A section. These sites are too congested for me, but there are a few nice sites as you first pull in, and these are full hookups. A3, uh, the site where that bounder is, that's a full hookup site. And then there's another class A just on the other side there. And that's also a full hookup site. So there's three full hookups that you can check out if you definitely want a full hookup. Section C is, uh, in my opinion, uh, also congested. There are a few sites up here, but uh, it is narrow in places. Okay, so after you wind through a very shaded forest, uh, and you get up on top of the hill, you have some, do have some cabins up here. There's cabin C19, and they even have some yurts. That is C26. And after doing a second walk through the C section, you know what? There's not a single RV site I would recommend in C section. Let's go back to my campsite. So while I'm walking back to my campsite, Melody and I, like we normally do, go out and we check out the local area. I'm gonna put up some clips and some photos of some sites that we've seen in the local area. We're close to the Sea Lion Caves. There's an overlook on Highway US 101 where you can see the Hecata Lighthouse. That's the lighthouse dead ahead there. Kind of foggy this morning. It's uh, just about 11 o'clock, but the, there's still fog. And we can see 
sea lions both out in the ocean and on this point right here. See those sea lions down there? All over the rocks. In fact, they call this sea lion point. But we saw sea lions swimming out there. They were pretty far out, probably a couple hundred feet out in the ocean. You can see right there at the top of that wave in the center of your screen, there are some sea lions out there. So if you can make them out or not. Here's another perspective from US Highway 101 of the Oregon coast, just north of Florence. Well, hon, what did you think of South Jetty Thousand Trails? I liked it. Um, I wish our site wasn't muddy, but given all the rain that we've had the last few weeks since we've been in Oregon, it's to be expected. But um, I would come back. We are really stoked. We're heading to um, uh, Ben Sun River Thousand Trails, and from there, we're going to a long-awaited bucket list destination, Crater Lake. We were posted out here for three years, 30 years ago, and you know we never made it to Crater Lake. So we're really stoked about visiting Crater Lake and a few of the places around Bend, Oregon. And I think I'm going to leave it here. I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube. If you like these videos, like and subscribe and I'll see you down the road.